Assalamu alaikum friends, my name is Muhammad Yunus and I am Odoo Technical Developer. Uh, so in today's video we are going to talk about how to import the transactional data like the sales order, purchase order, invoices and other things. So we are currently logged in in Odoo 13 Community Edition. So you can follow the same steps for the other versions like Odoo 14 and Odoo 15. So what we will do, we will uh, uh, import sales orders and uh, before importing the sales order we will import uh, some products so let me create a template for this purpose uh, open any excel file so in the excel what we will do we will just uh, fill out uh, the uh, mandatory fields so what are the mandatory fields uh, in this case it is a uh, product name product type and category and rest are all uh, not mandatory so let me add here a uh, product name product type and category these three fields are mandatory so let me just fill out these three fields and here it is name uh, test product one with a uh, stockable I think it is storable storable product okay storable with this and category is on okay so just copy the same thing again and again and then just add two sorry this is one this is two and this is three and for this one we will make it as service service item and I can also add uh, some other fields like internal reference so let me add internal reference also just insert a column here internal reference and here uh, product 1 product 2 and product 3 like this so let me save this uh, on my computer uh, in desktop and in products okay and save it so let me go here in Udo and click the import button to import uh, this file load the file uh, products and then open it so here we can see we have two fields uh, that are red so here we will select a manually like name so it is product name and here it is category product category so we have just added category so you can uh, select it like this and then click test so it seems okay and then import okay so it has been imported like let me open it product so you can see product one product two product three and mm, everything is separated like name care type and then internal reference and then category so we can uh, import the products like this and then what we will do we will uh, import the sales order so for the sales order what are the mandatory fields uh, so it is customer and invoice and delivery address will be updated automatically but you can update it so what we will update customer uh, expiration date and then payment terms Okay. so let me create a new file and like this new one and here uh, I need to add customer uh, expiration and payment terms okay uh, and if you want to add some more fields so you can add like uh, for example sales team etc 
but I will not I will just update these three fields and um, then we will have to add the lines so for the lines what we uh, will to do uh, let me do this so here we will add uh, like this field you can see the name of the field is order lines and then product okay so order lines and then product okay and the next one is order lines and then description okay so um, let me check the next one description quantity and unit price okay uh, order lines quantity order lines unit price like this so okay like this so here we will add the customer so for example the customer is uh, Azure interior so let me copy the name and like this one so what is the expiration date so let me add this one like uh, we will add old date like we can say 21 and not 21 but 23 so we will add a future date so payment terms uh, end of following like let me change it to this one like uh, this one and then order line product is so you here you can add import the product by name or by uh, ex, uh, internal reference so I will uh, uh, try both so first one with product one which is the internal reference and here I will add uh, any description that I want to add and um, here is the quantity like four quantity and price is 100 okay and for the next one let me just uh, copy this one and sorry uh, four quantity four and hundred so copy this fields and then edit again okay three times so we want to add three products so here we, the second one we will import uh, through the name which is product two and then uh, product three again by internal reference okay so here it is product two and here it is product three so its quantity is uh, 10 price is 40 quantity is 100 price is uh, 3 okay so let me save the file and on the desk, desktop like this and sales order okay so go to Udo uh, go to the sales um, tree view and then hit enter so load the file sales order and then uh, you will see this screen so if anything is a red then you can choose the um, related field and hit save so test so everything seems okay and then import okay so this order will be imported with uh, which will contain three order lines so let me open it and here you can see it has added 2020 23 and Azure interior uh, it has a written voice addresses this is the payment terms these are the products uh, and quantities with unit prices so you can hit the transactional data through Excel import like this so uh, if you have any questions so you can ask uh, in our discord group so the link of the discord group is in the description of the video 
so please click on the link and join the group and uh, please uh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also click the bell icon so that you can get the updates of the upcoming videos thank you